Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are Bars and Barbells, and I'm Sam, and this is my co-host. I'm Phil. <laughs> Putting him on the spot there. Today we have a, another Billy Joel song, which we are excited for. This is an official music video. This is the official music nice. video. And this is Uptown Girl. That's right. And you've liked our journey with Billy Joel thus far? I have. I think that he's a really unique sound. I love the piano that he brings into it. So. Mm. Yeah. The last one that we did was We Didn't Start the Fire. Yeah, that one was different, though. That one was cool. I like that one. The video was, like, really interesting on that one. It was very intense. We were traveling through time. Yeah. And he was giving us a history lesson at that same yeah. time. I feel like that one was such a different vibe, though, than the previous two that we had done by him. The um, Piano Man and yep. um, Italian Restaurant. Scenes from Italian Restaurant. Yeah, yeah. like, those are very, like, different. It's such a different vibe than We Didn't Start the Fire, in yeah. my personal opinion. Yeah, I think what I did like in terms of the vibe that was consistent for me was the creativity in the songwriting. Yes. Yeah, for sure. He's such a creative songwriter. Mm -hmm. And um, that, you know, like I said, never had seen anything where you travel through time and do a history lesson in a song mm -hmm. that ended up being really, really popular. Yeah. Yeah, no, it was really cool. So I liked how that I've, one was a little bit more upbeat and like a little higher tempo. It yeah. was nice to see the diversity there. But I've loved Billy Joel. Yeah, He's been, too. like I said, creativity from the songwriting. But, you know, we've done three songs. I've loved every single one of his. And I didn't know anything about him before yeah. we started this journey. So I'm glad that I've gotten to know his, his catalog a little bit more. But I think I've got a lot more work to do. <laughs> yes. And so we have a little pop quiz for you on this video. Yeah. Sam, would you like to give them the pop quiz question that you always provide? <laughs> yes. So there is a famous supermodel in this music video. We want to know what her name is. Yeah. If you know that name, drop it down below. If not, don't worry. We'll tell you a little bit later. Yes. But uh, Uptown Girl is, I think, another popular Billy Joel song. Are you ready to check am, it out? Let's do it. All right, guys. Let's roll. showing off his vocals on this one yeah and this video is killing me not lacking in the creative process again no yeah that's very true for him i feel like i've heard the chorus in this in um some form of like rom-com really yeah i have not heard this once ever it doesn't sound familiar at all well but i feel like i probably watch a lot more romantic comedies than you do that's so. very valid <laughs> i'm pretty sure there is a movie called uptown girl that this might be in if i'm not okay. mistaken uh it, it's it's cool the dynamic too you know playing off of him being this blue collar guy Guy yes. that wants a shot at this uptown girl but he's kind of got a little bit of an animosity towards her but at the same time he still wants to chase yeah. after her yeah and um the like i said the creative process through the dance that they've got going yeah. on but um i was really like i said surprised how much of a focal point his vocal is in this one because mm -hmm. i felt like 
in the past, the instrumentations really stood out. Yes. You know, obviously his piano playing has been fantastic. So um, this one, I feel like they've switched it up. It's much uh, more vibrant and yeah, like and dance his, feel. Yeah, and his vocals definitely at the forefront. Yeah, which kind of makes sense for the song title as well, Uptown Girl. Yeah, you know, when like you hear it. that song title, you're probably thinking, you know, well, the way it's put together is how I'd probably picture it. Yeah. And so that's what I love about Billy. He just tends to capture what he's trying to create really, really well. Mm -hmm. But again, this is so different than all three of oh, the yeah. other ones that we've done, right? Just showing his talent and his diversity to be able to put together such a creative piece that's so different from other ones that he's yeah. done. Yeah. Are you liking this uh, light and fluffy sound? Yeah, I mean, it's fun. It's like, like you said, it's light and fluffy, but I feel like it's like fun and playful and a little bit different than like, you know, the We Didn't Start the Fire was more of like an intense vibe and the Piano Man and um, Scenes of Italia Restaurant were more of like a piano kind of classical laid back kind of mm -hmm. feel. And I feel like this is more just like fun and poppy and like dancing. Yeah, I think that's it, what you're getting at. It's more pop to yes. me. It's more, you know, trying to hit that single and let it blow up a little bit, but be creative while you're doing it. I think, yeah. you know, um, Piano Man, like you said, which is my favorite, was vastly different. Still was really popular, but for a different reason. Mm -hmm. I think, like I said, this is light, fluffy, dancey kind of feel, right? Yeah. It's funny the visual dynamic there that they have as well, right? It's like the uptown cosmetics versus the gas. So it's like the girl from the higher end, higher class from, you know, the gas is not something that's looked upon as, you know, being so alluring, right? Yeah, yeah, so, for sure. You know, they've started with that, faded with that, put that throughout the video. And uh, I was pretty repetitive, I would say, like for a three and a half minute song, mm -hmm. it really hammered home that uptown girl <laughs> yeah yeah and i think that's probably like why they probably have been able to use it in movies and stuff because it's like that whole thing would fit in right with yeah. it being like more verses also like halfway through i was thinking to myself like all these guys look really short because she's like towering over all of them and then i was thinking wait she's a supermodel she's probably like six something feet wearing heels <laughs> wearing probably six inch heels yeah, as well so. i did notice that though standing beside billy uh, yeah. she was like a foot taller than yeah <laughs> and i was like whoa so I, it reminded me a little bit of Grease as well. Yeah. Like Grease vibes, the yeah. way they were doing the dance routine and yes. even the song itself. So I don't know if they were trying to capture that, but that did give yeah, me some reminiscence. Yeah, even like they had like the slicked back hair, like the greased back hair and stuff kind of vibe of like the outfits and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Now, at the end of the day, she fell for the bad boy with the motorcycle, right? Yeah. Let the hair down loose. <laughs> So uh, where would you place this in the songs that we've listened to? I would say that I enjoyed it, but I don't think it's my favorite that we've done. I think like uh, Piano Man is definitely my favorite that we've done so far. Yeah, I liked it. I think that it was good. Obviously, like we said, the creativity was still there and the diversity, which was really cool to see. And I think that this is like 
definitely a more like catchy, upbeat, fun song. So I like that aspect of it. But from a standpoint of the cr- overall creativity and what goes into the composition, I think I like the other ones better. Mm-hmm. Um, I would say Piano Man is probably my favorite too. I also like We Didn't Start the Fire a lot. And then I would say this one and then probably Scenes from Italian Restaurant. Well, and the other thing about scenes from Italian restaurant is that we did the live version, yes, right? So we, maybe not, that was more, more performance based yeah. and less studio, right? Mm-hmm. And you don't get the full, um, That's feel. also the first one that we did, right? Yes. So we were just getting our feet wet with him. So, I mean, maybe if I went back and listened to it again, yeah. it would be different. But. Anyways, I, I've, like I said in the beginning, yeah. enjoyed my Billy Joel journey thus far. So we, I would like to continue. So hit those comments and let us know. I think there's been a few suggestions uh, you guys have come through with. So we'll keep our eyes on those comments to where we should go next. And before we go, we got to give you that name about who that supermodel was. Samantha, do you know who that was? Yes, it was Christy Brinkley. Christy Brinkley. Yes. Which I've never heard, I've never heard of her either. Yeah. No. But apparently she was popular enough to get into a Billy Joel music video. <laughs> yes. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I she did a good job too. Yeah, she did. She's, yeah. she's a pretty girl too. Um, I mean, she's a supermodel, so I guess. You'd hope you know. so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's probably comes with the territory. Yes. And um, so I'm done. We're, we're done with our supermodel here for our bars and barbells. And so, so all you got to do now is hit the like button in the comments for us. And like I said before, um, make sure that you hit the notification bell because YouTube doesn't always yeah. remind you when we drop something. So you don't want to miss out. If you're subscribed, you might as well hit that notification bell as well. We have two videos every single day, music, sports, comedy, and history now. So you got lots of different content to look forward to. And hopefully some more Billy Joel is coming down the road as well. Yes. Hopefully we see you then. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.